Most of the day, I was haunted by a feeling that something was going to happen. When I opened the door, the feeling was stronger. I took one look at him, and I knew it had happened. Mr. Lanyard. Yes. Who are you, and how did you get in here? You still haven't answered my question. How did you get in here? Through the window by way of the fire escape. I came on behalf of a client of mine. This client would like to employ you on a very personal matter. Oh, how personal? Involving $100,000. Your commission would be one-third. Well, that's personal enough. Let's go in the other room, huh? Someone has stolen from him a rare stamp worth exactly that amount. That's a lot of stamp. It's the last stamp of its kind in the world. An Algerian stamp issued in 1899. It has the map of Morocco on the face. Size one inch by one inch and a quarter. The background is yellow. The lines of the map are blue. My client will pay any amount to get the stamp back. What's your client's name? Deep River. Deep River? That's right. Many men prefer to collect anonymously. It's a fetish and quite common. Uh, so I've heard. Yes, they have to collect under some title, so they have trade names like my client, Deep River. I've been his agent for 15 years, and I have no idea who he is. You must know something about him. Yes, I know that his collection is worth a million and a half dollars, that he is one of the five biggest collectors in the world. Uh, he has a box number at the post office. We do all our business by correspondence. Uh, I gather I'm supposed to locate the stolen stamp, huh? Yes. Well, go on, I'm listening. I can't continue until you agree to handle the matter. I'll call you in the morning. I'll call you. 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Secrecy above all. For your protection. And my clients. Leo Anno left in a way that made me feel he'd read too many mystery stories. I didn't know if he was for real or not. I decided to think it over because my knowledge of rare stamps was limited. Yeah. What about? Get up. Well, you can still hear. Listen closely, Lanyard. Stay away from Anno. Don't even try to buy a three cent stamp from the post office. <laughs> The next morning, I left early. I wanted to see Leo Anno. I don't enjoy being worked over, and I was still boiling inside. I wanted the character who liked to play tough. And if it meant that I had to find a rare stamp to get him, that was okay, too. You're too early, Mr. Lanyard. I told you to wait till I called you. I'll find your rotten stamp, but stop playing games. Come on. If you're seen here, it'll be obvious you're working on the case. You already know. And I've got the black and blue marks to prove it. 
I don't think I follow you. That's my two characters try to impress on me. I shouldn't buy a stamp even to mail a letter. Let's cut the embroidery and get to the point, huh? You have to understand about stamp collectors. They'll go to the ends of the earth to find a rare stamp. They'll, they'll pay a fortune to locate a small piece of paper originally worth two cents. Sometimes they'll even steal, huh? Mm, one of them might. Of the four collectors known to be able to spend $100,000 on a stamp, I suspect Leland J. Trainer. Leland Trainer? He must be crazy. He's a respected lawyer. He's wanted this stamp for 10 years. A week before the stamp was stolen, he asked me to beseech Deep River to name a price, any price. Deep River replied the stamp was not for sale, not for one million dollars. And if it isn't Trainer who stole the stamp? Then I'm at a loss. Okay, I'll start with him. He's a difficult man to meet. Huh. Wait a minute. You must have some stamps he'd like to own. Mm, a few. Give them to me. Then call him and tell him I have them. I'm interested in trading, not selling. And the transaction must be done in person. I believe I could arrange it. My stamps! My stamps! They'll ruin my stamps! Looks like they're still keeping an eye on me. You can't back out now. Don't worry, I won't. There's only one thing that bothers me. A trainer wouldn't use a tactic like this. You said he was a respected lawyer. I didn't. Anno had made a date for me with Trainer. The house was large, and what I had expected. But the guy who greeted me looked like he didn't belong. And then I saw a woman. It wasn't hard to figure that she belonged. You must be Mr. Lanyard. That's right. I'm Jean Trainer. And this is John Barton. Hello. If you need me, I'll be in my room. Dad's waiting for you in the study. The inner sanctum. After you. Thanks. I'll get some light in here. Dad, this is Mr. Lanyard. Sit down, Mr. Lanyard. Thanks. I was anxious to meet you, Mr. Trainer. I understand you wanted some Albanian stamps. If they're part of the special series they put out to celebrate their high holidays. He has all of them. Examine them closely. They're authentic. Poor Daddy has to take my word for it. He has all six of the 193 celebration series. How much do you want for them? I'm not interested in selling, only trading. I have nothing to trade. I'm told you have many Algerian stamps. I'd like to swap. I only buy. I'll give you $3,000 for the series. You couldn't buy these stamps for any amount. But I'm willing to make a trade, say, for some 1899 Algerian issues. The stamp business seems so crazy to me. You couldn't even mail a letter with one of these. $5,000, Mr. Lanyard. No, Mr. Trainer. And not a 10000 why don't you show me your Algerian collection? I'm sure we can make a trade satisfactory to both of us. Show him out, Jean. I'll think about it. If you uh, change your mind, you can reach me through Leo Anno. I'll be back later, Dad. He'll come round. He really wants those stamps. If I know Dad, you'll get a call from him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How about a cup of coffee? I could use one. Don't look now, but I think we're in trouble.
I'm not ready. I said, come on. Wait for me in the car. You're coming now. You heard what the lady said. It's no concern of yours, Lanyard. What do you say? I want to stay here and finish my coffee. I think that makes it my business. Are you still interested in that Algerian stamp? That would be one for my collection. Call me later. My private telephone number. It was almost time to phone Jean. Come in. How did it go? I haven't decided. Did you learn anything? I didn't know Trainer was blind. Happened last year. Oh. He has quite a seeing eye dog. Hmm. His daughter? Yeah. I don't like her. Oh, why not? She's been married four times. I don't trust a woman who's been married that many times. I'm working for a character who hides behind the trade name of Deep River, right? I want to meet him. Can you deliver the stamp? That's a gamble he'll have to take. I represent him. I have a right to know. Relax. Do as I say. You can't hold out on me. I'm not holding anything back. Perhaps you are. I've told you everything I know. Then you've got nothing to lose. Write him. Give him my message. Have you got the stamp? Write him. Tonight. You leave me no alternative. Tell him I'll see him any place, any time. All right, if that's the way you want it, but I can tell you now you're wasting my time and yours. Hello? Hello, Jean, Mike. I've been waiting for your call. Can you meet me at Terry's? Okay, at what time? About an hour. Huh, I'll be there. Baby Jean was offbeat, like Anno. I could have thought of a lot of better spots than Terry's at which to meet. Or had she figured it out carefully? Did a place like this make it easier not to be recognized? Then I thought about her boyfriend again. And I thought about the stamp. Then there was no reason to think any more, because I had a hunch she had a lot on her mind. As for me, I was going to listen. Would you like something? No, thank you. You're late. I had trouble getting away from John. He's uh, jealous and slightly possessive. To say the least. Is he a right to be? We're going to get married when we can scrape together a bankroll. Uh, father doesn't approve, huh? The only way I can get a nickel out of father is to masquerade as a postage stamp. Speaking of stamps... The Algerian one? With the map of Morocco on it. With a hundred thousand dollars. To, uh, four people, so I've been told. Wouldn't it be enough if it were worth that to just one? Where is it? Now we're right back where we started from. <laughs> you and John need a bankroll. You go right to the head of the class. I'll play. How much is it going to cost me? How much are they paying you? 25,000. 50, 50? You've got a deal. Anno hired you to find the stamp for a client. Makes you so sure. He tried to hire me once when he thought my father had stolen it. Didn't he steal it? Yeah. 
And who did? I don't think the stamp ever was stolen. I think this man who calls himself Deep River has it. What makes you think that? Well, if it had been stolen, why wouldn't it have been offered to my father? Everyone knows he's willing to pay a fortune for it. What if it wasn't stolen? Why would Anu ask me to look for it? He probably thinks it is stolen. Now you're getting complicated. Deep River wants everybody to think that it's stolen. Why? So everyone will stop bothering him and stop trying to buy the stamp. Maybe you're right. Deep River wants to remain anonymous. And it isn't easy with a stamp that conspicuous. We have a deal 50-50. Right? Uh -huh. Find Deep River and you'll find the stamp. As simple as that, huh? Good luck. We can both use it. She wasn't above lying, and neither was Anno. I don't enjoy a woman making a cheap deal. I might not know about stamps, but bluffs I know about. I was going to call her bluff and Anno's at the same time. When I got back to my hotel, I started with Anno. straight. I located the stamp. I'll be right over to get it. I'll turn it over to Deep River. No one else. I tried to reach him. I haven't been successful. I'll talk only with Deep River. Look, you can't do this to me. Take it or leave it. Listen to reason. I don't want to listen anymore. You tell him what I said. I'll wait for your answer. And listen, Anno. I won't wait long. Twenty minutes later, there was a knock on my door. My bluff was working. It was the tough guy. He had made a mistake. He had come alone. I knew I was going to enjoy our second meeting. It's in here. Oh, no. explain everything. Yeah? I talk fast. I hired him. Even the tear gas was a ruse of mine. Why? I wanted you to become emotionally involved. I know your reputation, Mr. Langard. I know that money alone isn't the entire answer for you. And I was right. It... What about tonight? If you hadn't been attacked, you wouldn't even have looked for the stamp. You said you had the stamp. I have every right to protect my client. If necessary, I was going to take it from you by force. All right. I believe you. Get back to your store. Take your playmate with you. I'll get you the stamp. Anno hadn't lied. The stamp had been stolen or he wouldn't have come armed with the tough guy. That left Jean Trainer, her father, and her boyfriend. I had to agree with Anno. It's tough to trust a woman who's been married four times. I was going to get back the stamp for Deep River. Where's your father? I want that stamp. I might add, I won't be able to finance your wedding. 
Dad doesn't have it. He couldn't see far enough to steal his own shoe. No, but you and your boyfriend here can see for him. Where do I see him? You're going to make a fool of yourself. Dad, Mr. Lanyard's back. Get rid of him. I'm already in. What do you want? An 1899 Algerian stamp with a map of Morocco on the face of it? Where's John? Indisposed. Mr. Trainer, why don't you make it easy on yourself? Sit down in the chair across from me. Don't move, Lanyard. I can hear you if you move. Jean, get John. Mr. Lanyard isn't sitting in the chair, Dad. Get the stamp. How did you know I had the stamp? When I found out that Anna wasn't a liar. <laughs> to hide it. You shouldn't have picked such an obvious place. You can clear one thing up for me. Who is Deep River? We don't know. You know him. You stole this from him. We bought it from the man who stole it, and he didn't identify Deep River. Now, don't ask me about the man who stole it. We've never seen him before, and we haven't seen him since. I think you're all crazy. We paid $50,000 for that stamp. How about a refund? It's a good idea. Find Deep River and ask him for it. I'll tell you something. I'm sorry I got into this whole mess. You're right about curiosity. Take my curiosity, for example. I'd say the name of that picture is Deep River. I must remember to take it down first thing tomorrow morning. The police convinced the trainers to talk. Jean and her boyfriend were going away for separate vacations in separate cells. I had also found Deep River. Goodbye, Mr. Lanyard. Goodbye, Mr. Arnold. <laughs> 